All right, Scam Squad, let's solve some inequalities. Example 1. t over 3 is greater than 10. Step 1. Identify the operation being performed on the variable. In this inequality, the variable is t, and a variable is a letter used to represent an unknown value. So we want to find out what operation is being performed on that t. It's important for us to notice that the fraction bar means division. So t is being divided by 3. This moves us on to step 2. Apply the inverse or opposite operation to both sides. So what is the opposite of dividing by 3? You got it! Multiplying by 3. If I focus on the left, there's actually an invisible number in front of that t that's going to help us to solve this problem. That invisible number is a 1. So now I can pull out those fractions and multiply. When I multiply those fractions, I'm left with 3 over 3, which is equal to 1. But instead of doing all that work, what I like to do is cross out the 3s, cross out the 1s, which leaves me with just the t. If I focus on the right side, I have 10 times 3, which is equal to 30. So the final inequality will be t is greater than 30. This will move us on to step 3, graph to determine possible solutions. Since we have a greater than sign, this lets us know that we will use an open circle because 30 is not included as a solution. So we're going to place that open circle on the 30 on the number line. And then as long as the variable is on the left side of the inequality sign, then you can follow the direction of the inequality sign when graphing. So since the t is on the left and our inequality sign points to the right, the arrow in our graph will also point to the right. So if we look at this graph, it lets us know that any number to the right of the 30, but not including the 30, will be a solution to this inequality. Example 2. Negative 4s is less than or equal to 16. Step 1. Identify the operation being performed on the variable. In this inequality, the variable is s. And we have a number in front of that variable. This is called a coefficient. A coefficient is a number being multiplied by a variable. So s is being multiplied by negative 4. This moves us on to step 2. Apply the inverse or opposite operation to both sides. So what is the opposite of multiplying by a negative 4? You got it! Dividing by a negative 4. And we will do that to both sides of the inequality sign. If I focus on the left side, I have negative 4 divided by negative 4. And any time a number is divided by itself, that will always be equal to 1. So we can cross out those negative 4s, which leaves us with 1s, or simply just s. But before I bring down that inequality sign, there's something important about this problem. So I want us to notice that we divided by a negative number. And whenever you multiply or divide by a negative number, you have to flip the inequality sign. Multiply or divide by a negative flip the sign. Multiply or divide by a negative flip the sign. Flip the sign, flip the sign. Don't forget to flip that sign. When you multiply or divide by a negative flip the sign. So since the original inequality sign pointed to the left, we have to flip it so that it is now pointing to the right. If we focus on the right side, we have 16 divided by negative 4. And 16 divided by negative 4 is equal to negative 4. So the final inequality will be s is greater than or equal to negative 4. This moves us on to step 3. Graph to determine possible solutions. Since we have a greater than or equal to sign, this lets us know that we will use a closed circle because negative 4 is going to be included as a solution. So we will put that closed circle at the negative 4 on the number line. Then, 
Since the s is to the left of the inequality sign, we can follow the direction of the inequality sign when we graph. So since the inequality sign is pointing to the right, the arrow on our graph will point to the right as well. This graph lets us know that any number to the right of that negative 4, including that negative 4, will be a solution to this inequality. I have two more inequalities I want you to solve and then graph the solution. I would recommend you pause the video now, solve, and then resume when you're ready to see if your solutions are correct. Okay, let's take a look. Number one, the inequality would be x is greater than or equal to two. On the graph, we would have a closed circle on the two and an arrow pointing to the right. And for number two, we would have the inequality x is less than four. And I want you to notice for number two, since we divided by a negative number, we had to flip the inequality sign. So on the graph, we would have an open circle at the four and an arrow pointing to the left. If you had either of these incorrect, I would recommend you go back and find your mistake. Thank you for watching.